Here we have another Gaming Palooza classic from uh, probably around 2006. This is the Russell Vessel's first review. It's uh, WWF WrestleFest. Uh, he actually did this review over his phone, believe it or not. And somehow I managed to record it on my end when he was talking over the cell phone. And uh, after I got the recording of his voice, I did all the uh, video editing on my side. Uh, very, very interesting concept that we had there. Of course, the the, uh, the review itself looked like it was filmed with a cell phone because uh, the uh, technology we had back then, it looks, it looks like crap. Let's take a look at it. This is Russell Vessel live on the phone with Gaming Palooza for your mobile gaming review. WrestleFest is a game made in 1991 by the company Technos, which was made in Japan. It was a great game and it has a roster of 12 wrestlers. As the faces, you could pick from the Ultimate Warrior, the Immortal Hulk Hogan, Jake the Snake Roberts, and the Big Boss Man. The other two faces in the game are the Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. Unfortunately, you cannot pick them because they are the bosses. However, if you have the game on your computer, there are some cheat codes you can do in order to pick LOG. As heals, you can select from Sergeant Slaughter, Earthquake, The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, Mr. Perfect, and Demolition, Crush and Smash. This game is a game that was followed by Superstars, which was made in 1989. Now, first of all, you have more characters. As in the 1989 Superstars version, there were only eight guys and you can only pick six of them. This game has 12 guys and you pick 10 of them. The graphics are really good and there's two gameplay modes. The first one is called the Royal Rumble. Now this is a very good fun play mode that has not happened before in Superstars. You start out with six guys in the ring and you just keep going through until guys get eliminated. You can either throw them over the top rope or there's a, actually a funny referee in the ring and he'll count your pins and submissions. So you can win by either throwing the guy over the top rope or by pinfall or submission. Now, what's also unique about this game, and this is the only game that does that, is that once the guy's gets thrown out, they tell you who's coming out next, and they do like a little inset promo, like in the old school Royal Wrestling Federation days, where a little square would pop on the screen, and the guy starts cutting a promo before he comes out. Now, that's a very funny, unique way part of the game. And it just keeps on going, and then when you get down to the final two, then you get the winner, and Mike McGurk will introduce you as the winner. And then they'll start rolling down the credits, they'll show the, all the characters in the game, and basically you win the game. The second mode is the Saturday's main event mode. It's a tag team mode where you have to win five matches in order to become the tag team champions. First, the first match up here you wrestle is on Superstars. I think the second one's on Wrestling Challenge, and keep going on. The third match is actually a cage match you have to win. And the fourth match is another regular one. Before finally the fifth match, you get your title shot against Legion of Doom. Now, Legion Doom, they are very tough, but compared to the Superstars game where you face DiBiase and Andre, they are not that impossible. The Legion of Doom, you can beat them with just a couple coins, not that much. Um, they do an awesome Doomsday device. Unfortunately, in the game, if you pick Demolition, you cannot do the decapitation. So you can pick any two wrestlers of, of the uh, 12, except that if you pick Demolition, you have to pick them as a team. And you got to keep going until you face Legion Doom. And before Legion Doom wrestles, they have a little interview with me and Gene Oakland, and he tells you that they're defending the titles and all that. And when you when you beat them, you get to go to me and Gene Oakland for an update. Now, that's kind of funny. You get the update from the pages of the World Wrestling Federation magazine. Uh, the picture of your two wrestlers appears on the screen and says you are the new champions. Once you win the title, you got to go back and defend your titles. So you face four, four teams again, and then if you beat those four teams. You face Legion Doom, give them a rematch. You beat Legion Doom again, you beat the game. So that's what makes WrestleFest a great game. Now, back in the day, uh, the WrestleFest definitely had the advantage of doing reviews. He had a lot of experience with doing uh, radio stations and uh, just much, much better on the mic overall, still is. Did a very, very good job on his reviews, despite the uh, disadvantages we had back then. Uh, he did a more up-to-date version of that game in a review somewhere on Gaming Palooza. 
and it's a much, much better review than the earlier version, which you just saw. Uh, you might want to check that out somewhere on our page. Got to hunt for it somewhere. And there will be more classics coming up soon. <laughs>